what's going on everybody welcome back to another youtube video uh today i want to go over something pretty exciting um they finally did a refresh to the tesla model s and x uh so you can see here i'll go back to the home page real quick so you can see what what it looks like off the the front you can see here though model s sixty nine thousand four hundred twenty dollars but you go here to custom order and you can see that the purchase price went up $10,000 for this refresh. So I just want to know if you guys think it's worth it or not, but we'll go through it just so you can see what's different. Um, as you can see, the outside doesn't look too much different. Um, they got away with all the chrome for the trim, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, but nothing, nothing too different. Um, but once we get here to the interior, that's where everything changes. Um, looks way nicer. I don't quite understand this uh, wheel yet, but they kept the um, in-dash um, screen there. But instead of going vertical, they went horizontal with a 17-inch screen. Basically taking the cue from the Model uh, 3 and Y. Also the same with these air vents. Um, they basically just took that from the car. Same thing with this uh, center console with the two wireless charger pads. Um, so you can see there, 79,412 miles of range, 155 top speed, 3.1 second, zero to 60. So we'll scroll down here just so we can go through everything. I mean, most of this is pretty similar. Autopilot, charging, sentry mode, all that's Nothing's really changed there. Uh, same paint colors. White's the free one. Black, silver, blue, and red. $2,500. Um, I don't really care for the, the free rims um, that much. $4,500 for the nicer ones. And then we'll go here to the interior. We got three options: the black, which looks nice; the white. I'm not a huge fan of this uh, of the wood grain with the white and black. Um, and then they have the tan, which I also do not like at all. Um, but let's go through the interior so we can see what's different. So now they got three displays with way higher resolution. Um, and they also put a screen in the back, which is really nice because everybody always says they're lacking on their interior. Um, so I think they're just trying to make it a nice experience for everybody. So now they got the three screens. The climate, it, which is basically the same as the Model 3. And then again with this uh, yoke steering wheel. Don't know if I would enjoy that, but I'm not getting a car anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then they upgraded the audio, so you got 22 speakers, 960 watts, which is really nice. And then that all glass roof, yeah, that interior looks super nice. So basically, that's that's about it. And then they still got the full self driving for an extra 10,000. Um, but here's the cool part about all this. Click here on Plaid, 119,000. 390 miles of range, 200 mile an hour top speed, and 1.99 seconds, 0 to 60. So you can see up here at the top, delivery for March, which is awesome. So this has 1,020 horsepower, three motors, and then everything else is pretty much the same. But that's pretty cool because they were, you know, estimating that to be at the end of this year. So we'll start seeing the Plaid models. Uh, come March which is pretty exciting uh, so yeah so that's that's pretty much it so let me know if you think the $10,000 upgrade is is worth it uh, just for a, pretty much an interior and fresh so all right thank you guys for watching hope you have a good day have a good one